guys, Kat here. And today we have an upper body and abs body weight workout. So we don't need any equipment, which is awesome, like if you're on vacation or you just don't want to use weights today. Really gonna be burning out those shoulders. Every exercise will be 50 seconds on with 10 seconds rest. And let's get started. Rawr. All right guys, let's warm up nice and easy. Big arm circles. So it's no cardio today and kinda hurts my soul. No, I'm just kidding, it's not that bad. <laughs> I just finished the workout from last week, so I'll warm and go ahead and bring it back. So if you missed that one, it was a 30 minute full body workout. Uh, cardio strength and abs, so you can always do that one. I'll link it in the eye if you wanna do it after. And go ahead, crisscross those arms. Squeeze that back as you bring those arms back. Opening up that chest, keep it going. Let's go for three, two, one, and go ahead, shake it out nice and easy. Okay, so now we're gonna do big arm circles, but it's gonna be nice and controlled. So have your uh, left leg in front, nice and controlled. This is all body weight. And go ahead, bring it back. You might feel a few crinkle crackles in that shoulder. And let's switch. Big controlled arm circles. Let's so go one more and then go ahead and rotate the other way. Three, two, one more. One, and we will be working out. So I want you to keep that left leg in back. Drag your knee in, bring it back, exhale. Now it's nice and controlled. I told you it's no cardio, so it's not going to be too tough right now. Maybe you're like, cat, that's cheating, whatever. Three, two, one, and switch. Make sure you exhale every time you drive that knee in so you really feel it in that core. Six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Good, nice job. All right, so start off on one side, walk it down. We're going to get started soon, and then walk it back. Warming up those shoulders, bring it up. Walk forward, and walk back, bring it up. If that's too much for you, you can go ahead and come down to the knees, walk forward, walk back, and then sit. Okay, so there's a bunch of different options. I will be giving modifications today, so yes. All right, go ahead, shake it out, bounce it out. I think we're ready to get started. Let's do this. All right, guys, 10 seconds. It's going to be a real quick workout today, so I want you to give it your all. Again, I'm going to start with the most advanced version. So start off on one side, we're going to do that inchworm again, but add an ab, ab movement. So walk forward in the plank, drive one knee in, twist, bring it back, and come back. If that is too much for you, take out the inchworm. You can take out the inchworm and just drive your knee in and twist, or drive your knee in. Remember, if any of those are still too advanced, Find like a chair or a couch or something, elevate your upper body, drive your knee in and twist. And now I shall continue. <laughs> drive your knee in, twist. Remember, if I'm still talking, you can still move. I'm just giving you the tools. I'm an instructor. I'm not supposed to be totally working out, right? Well, kind of. I like it though. I love it. Drive it in. Drive it in. Twist back. Down. Okay. Next up. So we're really good in the shoulders. Reverse, reverse crunch twist. Again, most advanced version. If you have lower back issues, I do not want you to add the twist. Support your lower back. Stand out. Up. Twist. Bring it back. Up. Twist the other way. Up. Twist. If that's too much, just stick with regular reverse crunches and just pop your butt up. If that's too much, bend the knees. Plant it. Come up. Hop. Plant it, come up, hop. So many different options. So many. Remember, if it gets to be too much, you can always alternate between a modification and the more advanced version. Getting the abs. Woo, keep it going. Inhale, exhale up. Uh, the zipper's digging into my thumb. I hate it. I know my torso's making farty noises. All right, so next up, left forearm lateral. Okay, so we're working that lateral part of the shoulder. I got this from Athlean X. So um, arm horizontal, come into a plank, have your feet separated, twist, bring it up. Twist, bring it up. Now, if that is too much for you, 
No big deal, okay? What I want you to do is stand that horizontal, hold, and then bring it up. If that's too much, come down to that knee and hold it here, okay? No, you're not working the lateral as much, but you're still working your obliques. So again, I learned this move um, to add it to my shoulder routine at least from Jeff at Athlean X. Love his channel. Teaches me a lot about form. You're gonna feel this a ton in that bottom oblique right here and in that lateral deltoid. So we have, where are we? No, we're gonna go the other side right away. Sometimes I sneak in a move, but not today. All right, so come on down. Make sure your torso is parallel to the ground here and twist up so your feet are not stacked. I know some of you are like, but I'm so kick booty and I can stack my feet. And I'm like, that's nice. Don't do it. <laughs> Don't do it. Now, one side might be weaker than the other and that's okay, okay? What I want you to do is modify on that side. So it's not a big deal if you need to modify on one side and not the other. You just gotta work on that side. <laughs> Woo! Keep it going. Hop. And up. Ooh, that oblique. That oblique, though. All right. Next up, break dance kickouts. So, we're going to take these nice and slow. Most advanced version first. Come to a plank. Drag foot up. You're going to bring the other leg out and kick. So, you're really working your core here and your shoulders. Bring it up. Up. And kick. So again, this isn't cardio, so I just want this nice and controlled. Up. If you want to make it cardio, go ahead. But I, for one, don't feel like it. <laughs> Bring it up. Kick it through. If that's too advanced for you, stay here. Tap. You got plank kickouts instead. And I still want you to work your core as well as your shoulders. especially on this one. Start in a plank position. Press back, fingertips, palms to the ground, shift forward into plank, drive a knee to the side. Press back, come up, drive a knee to the side. Woo! Keep it going, pop. Press it back. And really don't, try not to stop right here. Press all the way back so your butt is really sticking up. Feel it in those shoulders, those opening, the opening of those shoulders. Press back. Drive it. Ooh, yeah. Shoulders on fire. <laughs> this is good. This is good, guys. We're almost there. Stay with me. After this, we're working triceps. Okay, so it's not actually going to be a regular tricep push-up. You're gonna lay down on your side, have your uh, bottom leg bent. Stay here. Right hand, that top hand, right by the armpit. Bottom hand resting right here on that shoulder. Press yourself up, bring it back down, okay? Press up, bring it back down. If that's too much, try bending both knees in. Oh, sorry, extending both legs out and staggering the feet. That's gonna give you a little more stability. The other way is more advanced. Sorry. <laughs> so you should feel right here. A little bit of that shoulder too. Press up, back down. You're also gonna feel it in that top oblique. Oh yes, all of the above. Because we love it. We freaking love it. Press, bring it back down. Exhale up, inhale down. Keep it going guys. Doing awesome. <laughs> Yay. All right. Other side. Other side right away. One side again might be a little bit more challenging. Modify where you need to. Top hand right by the armpit. Bottom hand resting on that shoulder. Press yourself up and bring it back down. Yes. Hey. 
love working out in this room. It's wonderful. <laughs> it's so nice and peaceful. Ugh. Not that the green loves arms, but this is better. Press up. So if you didn't do my workout from last week, I am going to be doing a Q&A soon. So if you have any questions for me, let me know. I already filmed it, I don't know. Press up. Finish it out, guys. Press. Ah. <laughs> that one is tough. Okay, so next up, working on those abs. Most of that's version. Two sprinters, V up. Start by laying on your back. Hover your feet and your shoulders and head off the ground. Drive up, opposite arm, opposite leg. Up, and then reach. V up. If that's too advanced for you, plant your feet on the ground and your head and shoulders. Use this hand to press yourself up. And if you can't do that, just as much as you can, even if just severe, drive your knees in. Little baby thing. So again, drive it, drive it, bring your feet in, press it up. Try to stick with the most advanced if you can. Pop. Drive it, drive it, up. Pop. My quads start to get kind of tired in that one. Ha! Over halfway, guys. Okay, next up. I don't know what this movement was. Okay, uh, upper body mountain climber, tabletop turn. Shoulder, shoulder, starting a plank. So, down, down. Keeping the hips as square as possible. Up, up. Take that outside arm. Bring it over. Pop your hips up. Over. So, down, down, up, up. Stick with those if you need to. If you can't do this tabletop turn, make sure you're not like this. Woo! And twisting the hips. Separate your feet wider if you need more stability in this one to keep your hips from shifting so much. Up, up, over, and over. Keep it up, guys. Down, down, up, up, over, and over. Only five more moves after this. Stay strong. Keep going. Ha, we got this. All right, guys, 10 seconds. Work chest just a little bit in this one already, so we gotta go and do head, do a head. Go ahead and do some back. So lay on your stomach. You're gonna lift up, keep your neck neutral. Lift up, pull, back, and down. Lift, squeeze your upper back, back, and down. So we're working. Lower back in this up, upper back in this pull. If you really want to, full extend. Up, squeeze, back and down, and lift up even more. So, up, lift, back and down. Now, if that's too advanced for you, I want you to stick with just lift and bring it back down, um, keeping your feet planted, okay? So, a bunch of different options. Most advanced, up, pull, extend, down. Up, pull, stand, down. I'm just gonna stay here. Okay, alternating side plank dips. Oh, baby. Okay, so start off on one side. Stack feet, dip, and then other side. Woo, dip. If that's too much for you, stagger the feet and dip. Stagger the feet, dip. If that's too much, come down to one knee, dip, and then switch. Hopefully you have carpet, otherwise that one might be kind of icky. Just a little bit icky. And switch. You really should feel this in your bottom oblique. Use your hips, bring them down, really explode, push them up. Don't explode on me though. Don't leave me. Don't leave me alone in this workout. Three, two, one. Hi. Thumbnail. This is the thumbnail. I hope not. Okay. <laughs> Crab toe touches. You're like, that's not the workout I clicked on. Okay. So have your hands in the back of you. Come to crab. From here, you're gonna push your hips up. Push your hips up. Reach for the outside of the opposite side foot. It's a mouthful. Oops. Pop. If this 
is too much for you, you can keep your um, butt planted. And then try to just tap, lift up a little bit. Pop. Okay, if that's too much for you, I just want you to stick with lift up. We'll make it just a mainly an ab move for you rather than shoulders and abs. Pop it. Take your time. And I like to come up with my tippy toe because the higher I get, the more I work my core. Pop. You can always do one, two, three, twist instead of twisting and turning at the same time because coordination is not everyone's strong point. And go ahead, reverse that. So those circles, if your mind can take it, your shoulders should be burning. those arm circles at the end. Yeah, it's funny that that was a little warm up at first. Shake it out, other side. And then all of a sudden, after that end of your workout, you're like, no, I already warmed up, I'm done. <laughs> and go ahead, shake it out. Clasp the hands and back, pull down, drop your neck over to the right. So you should feel this on the left side of that neck. You can move your neck forward and back. Stay on that right side though. Try to find where it's super tight and then just stay there and breathe. Bring it back to center, other side. Ooh. And back to center, shaky, shaky, shaky. All right, almost there, guys. So next up, you're gonna bend the knees slightly, wrap the elbows around you, tuck your chin in your chest, and then pull up and round the back. You should feel this release in the upper back. And slowly shake it out. Slowly come up. One vertebrae, ten. And last one, guys. Clap the hands in front. Pull the shoulders in. Big inhale up. And exhale. We 
are done for today! Yay! We did it! You guys did it. We completed our crazy awesome body weight, upper body, and abs workout for the day. So thank you again so much for joining me. Please do like this video before you go. Uh, share it with your friends, family on Facebook, Twitter, etc. It really helps me out. I want to reach as many people as possible. And all without a gym membership and everything. Don't forget to like the video. Uh, pet the kitty to subscribe for more awesome workouts with me every Monday and then follow me on Instagram at Cat Moosey Fitness. I like to post in my stories area on Instagram of uh, the foods that I eat. Usually I like to post all my meals and um, all my heavy lifting and stuff like that. Alright, I will see you guys soon. Have an amazing day. Roar!